Hi, it's Santi, Santi Radio. Okay, so、um, tonight's topic is Japanese matching app. I want to explain every single app with detail. Okay, so if you are if you are looking for a Japanese boyfriend or girlfriend, if you watch this video, you understand which app you should use. And I'm already feeling that this video is going to be a very long video because I want to explain detail of each app. So please enjoy. Please enjoy. You're going to find the best apps to use. Okay? All right. So, first of all, let me show you one comment I got from my subscriber. It's from Danielle. Hi, Danielle. And she said, Did you make any video about how to meet guys? I live in Tokyo. I only know Tinder. And Bumble, but I've, I've been told Japanese don't take dating from those apps very seriously. Thank you, Daniel. Well, I agree with you. Yeah, or your friends. Yeah, they don't take that seriously. However, after I have researched you know, this one, I did research, right, by the way, and then I found out there are many people using this for serious p u r p o s e And also, I actually I have friends. Who, who using this and met a nice person and they're serious, very serious. So,、um, yes, try that. And also, there are some people who are, who are looking for one and stand or casual dating, but if you are looking for that too, please use. Okay, and again, this video, this channel is radio. Okay, so、uh, there's no much editing going on. So,、um, unless you want to see my face all the time, you can listen to this video when you're walking outside or do something else. Okay, like a radio. All right. Let's start. Okay, let's start with、uh, pairs. Okay, so let me. I did this research and I have tons of tons of things here. All right, pairs. Okay, pairs, it's for age between 20 and 35 years old. So if you are around this age, you're the main target. Okay. By the way, you can of course use if you are 36 still, for example, okay? You can use, but if you are between 20 35, you're the main target for them. And then, okay, guys have to pay. For a female, it's free, but guy has to pay $36 a month to use pairs, this one. Okay? It's not fair. <laughs> but I think it's okay. All right, so best part of pairs is. This is the, the biggest matching app in Japan. What? It says 10 million. 10 million users. Okay, in Japan, what? 120 million, right? So, one out of 10 people using this app? Really? I doubt. But anyway, it says 10 million users in Japan. So, anyway, there are many people using this app. So, you can find someone, I guess, through this app. Right? And it says since there are many users' accounts, you can find a foreigner, boyfriend, and girlfriend easily. Therefore, you can find your ideal South Korean boyfriend. That's what it says. <laughs> and also, you can find other nationality as well.、And、by the way, do you know how I got this article? I just typed on Google how to find foreigner girlfriend in Japan. And I got this article. So blame on this article, okay? If you don't like something, okay? That's what it says, okay? I deliver. All right. Anyway, so you can find many foreigners through this app. Okay, it says、uh, there are many South Korean, Chinese, and Asian people, Southeast Asia, using this app. So if you're looking for those people, Pairs is great. And it says、uh, if, you, if you look, there are at least 17,000. 17,000 users are from overseas. Okay,、uh, for, uh, foreigners, it says foreigners. So if you are looking for foreigners, there are 17,000 people. 17,000! That's a good number. I mean, that's a lot of people anyway. <laughs> okay, so it says, therefore, you can find、uh, your ideal foreigners. By the way, you know, some Japanese are really into foreigners. I mean, they love foreigners, some people. They don't care the inside, they love foreigners, you know. 
I'm kind of mm, about that, but anyway. So there are certain people, certain Japanese who love foreigners because you are foreign. You know, that kind of people. So if you are looking for a Japanese boyfriend, if you don't care who he is, who she is, you know, personality, as long as they are Japanese, if you like that, then you can find those people too in here. But it, it could be a just opener, I guess, if you, you know, because you liked her because she's blonde, but after you talk to her, you liked her personality. This is an ideal case, I guess. But there are some people who just like appearance or nationality. Mm. Do you like that? If it's happened to me, I kind of, I'll be freaked out. Actually, it happened to me already, you know, when I was in Ireland. There's one lady, she's Irish. She's pretty, by the way. And she really liked me. I went to a South Korean meetup and then she talked to me directly sat me next to me and they start talking about the BTS, how the Korean music is great, whatever. She started talking, talking, right? I was like, okay, I'm listening, right? I was quite Japanese. And then I knew that she was, she's thinking I'm South Korean. And I told her, and by the way, I'm Japanese. She's like, oh, yeah, I don't care. It's okay, yeah. She's like, sure, can shock. But you know what? In the end, you know, I found out she just liked the Asian face. That's it. I mean, it is okay. You like something different. Yeah, someone different, I mean, yeah, race-wise, eye-wise, whatever. But if you're that obvious, you know, with a passion, I mean, seriously, it's kind of creepy sometimes. What do you think? Oh my God, black people, woohoo! If I do that, it's kind of creepy, right? Oh, white people! But there are people like that too in Japan, you know? And those people might be using this app, so be careful. Watch this before you are uh, skeptical about this. But watch this, seriously, Gaijin Hunter, be careful. Anyway, but you know, once in a life, have a Japanese boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe it's okay. All right, let's go back to this. So Pairs is the, the biggest app in Japan. 10 million users, I, I doubt it. But anyway, many people. And uh, younger people using it, and many Southeast Asian people, Far East Asia using this. So um, if you like it, use. Next one is omiai.com, this one. Do you know what omiai means? Omiai means blind date in Japanese blind date you know there is some like a services right if you through this service this person agency they look for uh, someone uh, best match for you you know so it's more like a properly they just set up the meeting okay so uh, you have to pay some money that's omiai but this is omiai app so uh, this app uh, the main age is 2030s so a bit more wider than uh, pairs and the guy have to male have to pay forty dollar a month and the female free, lucky female. And it says this is very good if you are looking for a relationship. It says next to pairs, you know, it's uh, they are one of the biggest matching app in Japan, four million users. Four million, yes, you can find definitely someone through this app. 4 million users, there is someone who likes you, for sure. And it says, how to find foreigners through this app. It says, you can, ah, okay, it says, you can search by nationality. Isn't it getting more creepy now? Okay, they say, I like Ethiopian people. I only like Ethiopian, no Kenyan. <gasps> Ethiopia. So they, what they do, I guess, in here. I don't like Finnish, I like Swedish, <laughs> like this. Sorry, I'm not make, making fun of okay. Just I, I'm just you know just what it says okay. You can find people by nationality. Do you care nationality though? Let's say you meet people okay at the bar whatever, and you like the personality, you like the person appearance whatever, and you find out oh my god you're from Ethiopia. Oh my god I like Kenyans. Are you gonna be like this? I mean at least not me. I don't care about nationality if I like the person. And why you start from nationality? I mean. I don't understand. Yeah. I feel like kind of weird, to be honest. Not offending you guys, but yeah, if you if you are using this. Yeah, anyway. All right, so good thing about Omiai app. It says 4 million users, and you can use for casual dating. It says casual dating at the same time, the serious relationship too. So there are people who are using this app for casual things, which is one night, I guess. And also, you can search by nationality. Okay. All right. Uh, next one is you bride. You bride. Okay, this one. 
Okay. It says, uh, okay, both male, female is for more adults. Main target is 30 years old to up to 45 years old. So elder, mature people using, I guess. And it costs $43 per month for both gender. Now it's equality right here. So girls have to pay too. And it says, uh, if you use Ubright, the best part about, about Ubright is it's one of the best app to get married. That's what it says. And then it says, and there are many foreigners who are thinking about a serious relationship too. Okay. So whoever you meet, this you bride, they are serious about marriage. And it says, okay, you can find the people by, national, by nationality. Okay. Okay. No nationality, but just overseas. So they can find the by foreigners category. So they don't. They cannot search by nationality. So if you are looking for foreigners, there's a you can find foreigners. It says what? It says about sixty percent. Sixty percent of users get married in three months. In three months, can you imagine that? <laughs> you know, you download app, okay? After ninety days later, you get married. What the fuck? Really? That's what it says, okay? Anyway, so maybe. Maybe some is true, I guess. So uh, if you use this, people are serious. And it says if you are international marriage, it's the best app. And it's run by a big corporation, so you can save. It's, you can trust its safety is right there. That's it. All right. So that's you, bride. So if you are looking for a Japanese wife or husband, go for it. After nine days, you can get married. <laughs> Next one is with this one. I've seen this as everywhere with so the best part about with is based in based on your personality you can find the you can, you can have best match based on your personality all right main target is from 20 up to 29 so 20 okay using this app mainly and a guy paid 36 dollars female free good for you and then it's really uh, okay. So this app was made by Mentalist Daigo. It's a, one of a celebrity or YouTuber we have. So he's a mentalist, you know. So he created some great tool to to assess or your characteristic, I guess, personality. So based on that, you can find the best person. That's what it says. And you can find foreigners, okay, by the birthplace. Yeah. Yeah, there are certain Japanese people really like foreigners somehow. I don't know why. Seriously, they like people because he's a foreigner like this. I mean, it's okay, you know, as long as you do, you love, you love each other, you know. But <laughs> what if he became Japanese? What's gonna happen? <laughs> you know, after you get married, he's not foreigner anymore. Yeah, and also sometimes there's you know, as my example, okay, like uh, there are some people who love who love Asian people, white people specifically, right? I mean, that's okay. As a starting point okay but but one time I talking to one of the guy in Ireland at the meetup he said hey hey Santi I like the girl Asian girl okay I was like ah oh, she's pretty yeah nice talk to her and he also said I like the other girl too I was like uh, which one that one I was like which one that one that one okay you said that one's good but that one's good too he said yeah both cute but for me, for Japanese standard, one is definitely really like a popular kind of girl. But the other one is opposite. Okay, uh, for my stand understanding, okay? So I was like, uh, why? She's like, uh, he's like, uh, yeah, she's both good looking. Aha, now I understand. And I asked him, which guy is good looking here? Tell me. He was like, uh, that one. Wh which one? That one? Why? Because he's more buff. I was like, Okay, now I understand. So, you know, among Japanese people, we know which Japanese are good-looking Japanese and which is not that good-looking Japanese. No, we kind of have that kind of sense, right? And then majority kind of follows, you know, certain like a uh, sense. I mean, I don't want to say it clearly. You know what I mean, right? But when it comes to foreign people, when they see Japanese or foreign Asian people, I was like, uh, okay, the faces are all the same. 
And then what's the difference is the hairstyle or like the body size. That's it. That's what I felt. That's what I felt. That's why I don't. I'm not a big fan of like people who love Asian people because they don't see the differences between my face and then the other faces too. I like him because I like Asian. That kind of mentality I experienced before. You know what I mean? Sorry if you are that kind of people. Sorry. I mean it's okay if you like Asian. No matter what happens, it's okay. Love Asian people. You know it doesn't matter. You know, but. You know, yeah. At least see the personality. That's more important. You know, I think personality. I think. All right. Sorry. Back to this. With. So that was with. Okay. All right. Next one is cross me. <laughs> okay. It says you can find、uh, foreigners live next to your house. All right. This is kind of weird. Ah. Okay. It's kind of different. Okay, as the name implies, okay, cross me. So when you guys are cross, which means pass by, you got notification. Bing. You know, if both of you guys, you know, have a let's say guy and girl just pass by, right? If both of you turn on the app when you pass by, got notification, and then see, Santi, thirty-five years old, got an MBA from Trinity College. Da 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 da. Speak English. Da 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 da. This face. Oh, Santi, where is he? Oh, that one, like this. You know, so you can find people right there on the spot. What do you think? I feel it's creepy. Yeah, no offense if you're using this, because they know where you are right now. They can follow you to your house, and you give a chance to do that. I wouldn't use it. No offense, I wouldn't use it. But for guy, guys' mentality, this is better because、uh, you can find, you can literally touch the girl right now in the spot, right? No matter she, no, no matter what happens, you know, it doesn't matter how she think about me. I can at least catch her, right? Tangible. I mean, this is a very scary app. No offense. By the way, it says, but new concept compared to others, right? So you can find, and the main target is twenties. All、right, and the guy has to pay forty dollar, and then lady free, should be free. It's kind of dangerous doing this one. Yeah, isn't it dangerous? You just pass by, you give your information, and you give you let them know you are right there. You have a chance to stalk to his house, her house. Oh my god. Anyway, so、uh, good point about cross me. Yeah, you can find her on the spot. It says obviously, <laughs> and it says if you're just walking around、uh, in、uh, Central City, and in, inside Tokyo, you find many foreigners. It says, okay, and then、uh, there are many nationalities. Okay. All right, next one is Tinder. Everyone loves Tinder. Yeah, I use Tinder. It's not bad, you know. You can meet great people through Tinder, to be honest. Yeah. You know? But Tinder is known as the yeah, as it says. <laughs> people who use Tinder, they just focus on short-term relationship.、Hmm. In my case, when I use Tinder, it's became long, one of the longest relationship. By the way, you know, in my case, and then、uh, the person I met through Tinder. Was very important person, you know. I still, yeah, think that she's a、uh, the best person. Seriously, a great person. Yeah. So, I I think it depends on the person. I guess, even though the other, you know, whatever I said, I introduce right. It depends on the person. So be careful though. In the end, it's you to evaluate, assess the person, right? So um, don't worry about the rumor or what people says. But I'm just sharing you one article says. Okay. Okay about Tinder in Japan. Main age、uh, between twenty and thirty-five years old for both male and female, and wow, equality is free for both. You're good. So if you do want to use money, and if you want to go for a casual dating relationship, Tinder is good. It says, and、uh, you can. It says there are many foreigners who are looking for one night stand, but that's why you can meet many foreigners. That's what it says. <laughs> so if you are looking for that kind of thing, go for it. Oh God, Tinder. 
Anyway, although okay, it says, however, you cannot select uh, his nationality or race. That's a bad point. I mean, it should be like this. Seriously, come on. I mean, why you why you care about nationality? Why you care about the race? Seriously, I know for as a foreigner perspective, I kind of understand. I kind of understand because some majority of Japanese they're looking for a Japanese partner, right? So uh, it might be difficult for you to meet to meet like a Asian Japanese people who wanna have into a relationship with a foreigner. Beginning, you know. Because I have experienced the same situation when I was in the island in New York, you know? And that was a bitter memory, okay? That's not, it's not like 2020, you know, who everyone likes BTS. It's not like that. <laughs> Back in days, they hate Asian people. Not hate, but they didn't care. Seriously. They didn't care. They didn't even realize I was existing, you know? But, so I understand how foreigners feel about when you're in Japan, you know? And no one care about me, whatever. But again, be careful though. Yeah, I explained, right? The video? Yeah, seriously, watch the video. Because some people really care about... Uh, because they like you because you're white. That kind of mentality. And I've, I've met those people. Okay, not, not, not a few, many. So just be careful, you know, that's how I say. All right, so um, good thing about Tinder, both for free, uh, free for both gender, many foreigners, and they're easy to use. You know, easy to use. All right, next one is a bumble. Bumble, this one, yeah. It says boom. Okay, so main target is 20, 30s, 40th. Wider range, a widest range, I guess. All right, so if you are 40 years old man, 49 years old man, looking for 20 years old girl, bumble. <laughs> All right, it's for free for both gender. And bumble also a uh, foreign app. Okay, therefore many foreigners using this, and uh, okay, it says it says it is it's hard to use Bumble when you're looking for a specific race. So seriously, be careful, you guys, you're foreigners, you know. Anyway, all right. So uh, it's for good good thing about the Bumble, free for both gender. And then uh, many foreigners, easy to use. Seems like the Tinder and the Bumble are the same. Anyway, next one is a uh, Match.com. I have no idea. Match.com. This one. Okay, have you seen this? Okay, it says the world largest, the world largest uh, matching app. All right, main target is for elders, I guess. It's starting from 30 up to 50. That's the main target. Okay, and wow, it's equality right here. Male, female, $40. Okay, and uh, overseas people think, people use match.com to, uh, to look for the serious relationship. Okay, so it seems like the, this, what again? The, this bride things and the match.com, they're competitors. So if you have serious relationship, this. Casual, this, I guess. And the stalking, this. And then other thing is this. Easiest one is this, I guess, so far. Yeah, match.com. And then it says, okay, match.com, you can find by nationality. So you can you can search by nationality. Wait, oh, no, no, no. It says you cannot search other countries. So you can, you can search only people who are using in Japan, it says. Hmm. But you can search by race, too. Okay, I mean, actually, there are people who care about race. Mm, true. Yeah, true. I mean, it depends on the people's belief. So uh, some family doesn't like black or white or Asian. Maybe they are. Yeah. In the end, they are. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of rare, I guess. I, I don't care, to be honest. Seriously. The one I like is Beyonce. Is she black or white? I don't even know. <laughs> Latina, right? I think, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, right? That's it. So, what do you think, guys? Have you ever used these apps in Japan? I don't know, because there are some foreigners, uh, some subscribers who are the foreigners living in Japan and watching this channel and subscribing this, right? I don't know. And people on the membership, too. I don't know, too. You, yeah, one of the, my, member, my membership are uh, living here, right? 
in Japan as a foreigner. I don't know. Anyway, let's see you tomorrow. And if you like it, please subscribe. Bye-bye.